All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to this my NBA career. And as you can see, we have put in our stats for our last game against the Phoenix Suns. If you did not know, I had a 35-point triple-double against the Suns. And here are the stats from that game. I had a 35-point triple-double. Did struggle from three-point. Uh, usual, I mean, Cedric's not really a shooter. Uh, DeAndre Ayton had a 22-14 and 14 game against his former team. He was balling out exactly what we needed. LaMelo Ball could take a step back. He only had 15 points, but he notched 8 assists. Terry was here at 10 off the bench. So did Nick. Richards was becoming our best bench, second best bench player. Second best because Terry plays off the bench. And, of course, Jeremy Grant continues to struggle. And Terrence Ross has fallen out of the rotation, I believe. For the Suns, KD really struggled. 18 points, 9 rebounds on 7 for 18 shooting. 0 from 3 from 3 point. I believe that was Terrence Ross guarding him, so he did something good. Kevin Love had 17 points. He decided to ball out. Not on our team. Figures. Chris Ball struggled. The mobile ball had him in purgatory. Lou Dor had 11, so the two players we traded balled out. Perfect. Uh, Devin Booker had 10. I, I held his man to 4 for 21, 2 for 8 shooting. Mark Williams had a decent game. 8 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. And then everyone else did everyone else type things. Now for stats-wise, as you can see in San Jose 2K, this is what we're looking at. These are the stats from that game as you just saw. We got the win. And we're going to accept. And that goes through. We have 39,000 XP to spend. And as you, if you don't know... I'm going to spend this um, XP in the offseason. So Cedric won't upgrade. Uh, he won't progress because his uh, potential is low. So he shouldn't progress. We're going to find that out together uh, when we hit the offseason. But a lot of XP to upgrade him in the offseason. I'm mainly going to probably focus on badges over overall because his overall is already so high. Uh, but this game, we're going up against the Philadelphia 76ers in what will be the third to last game of the season. We have the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics next. So I decided to do something a little bit different than normal my career. So obviously because I have so much power in my NBA. If a team is doing poorly and they have a star player and that team clearly has no direction, I'm going to trade that star player. And what is going to pop up on the screen now as I show you the Bulls, the Bucks, the Wizards, the Knicks, and the Raptors all in the Eastern Conference were involved in a trade. And also in the West, the Lakers. And the Clippers were involved in a trade. All those teams were involved in a trade either to blow it up and rebuild or to build upon the team they already have. And the first trade is going to pop up on the screen now. It was a three-team deal. Two of these are three-teamers. One of these is a two-team deal. The three-team trade sees Bradley Beal, Isaiah Todd, Anthony Gill, and Andre Jackson getting sent to the New York Knicks, who are currently the 11th seed right now. They were about 13th when we made this trade. Uh, four... Emmanuel Quickly, Mitchell Robinson, Evan Fournier, two first round picks and two second round picks. And the third team in this trade is going to be the Clippers who are going to acquire Christian Wood and RJ Hampton for Bones Highland, a 2028 first round pick. Also in this deal was um, Isaiah Hartenstein and I believe one more player. They got sent to the Knicks. I, no, the Wizards. Got sent to the Wizards just to make the contracts work. It wasn't really a big deal. I think they ended up getting traded anyways. But this was the first big deal since Beal to the Knicks. It was a very hard trade to get done without trading RJ Barrett, which I don't think the Knicks would do. And the next three-team trade is going to involve the Bulls, Lakers, and Bucks. As you saw, the Bucks are awful. Even after making this trade, they are 17-35. and 35. So for this trade... The Lakers are going to send Max Christie, Derek Whitehead, and two second round picks over to the Chicago Bulls for DeMar DeRozan. It might not seem like a lot. Derek Whitehead is a rookie who's playing solid. Max Christie is still super young and two second round picks. The Lakers aren't allowed to trade any of their first in this game for some reason. But for an expiring deal in DeMar DeRozan who's 34 on a losing team, I feel like that's a solid deal. Um, and the Bucks get added into this trade to try and turn around this season, which it doesn't look like they're going to do. Uh, they are going to trade Luke Kennard, Marjan Buchamp, and Dennis Schroeder. So that is the last three-teamer. And the final trade is a two-teamer between the Chicago Bulls and the Toronto Raptors. The Raptors were at, I think, the 10th seed before this trade was made. And OJ Anobi was coming off. He's not playing great, and he's on a one-year deal. So the Raptors are going to send OJ Anobi, Chris Boucher, Precious Achua, and a first-round pick unprotected to the Chicago Bulls 
for Zach Levine, Derek Livers, and Marco Samanovic. I probably said that wrong, but it's fine. And now that all that's out of the way, it's time to hop into this game against the Philadelphia 76ers. Their team is looking basically the same. We're currently the 8th seed at 27 and 23, a game and a half out of 7 and 6. The 5th seed, which is the Sixers, we can gain some ground, but it's looking unlikely we can get it. Anyways, this intro is long enough. Let's just hop into it. All right, here we are. Wells Fargo Center for this game against the Sixers. Some pretty decent playoff implications in this game. Sixers being the five seed, Hornets being the eight seed. Only three games out of that five seed. This is going to be a pretty big game. James Harden, Joel Embiid, and the crew. Josh Richardson is going to get started with a brick three. We have been playing a lot better since adding DeAndre Ayton. So that's a lot better. Uh, Jeremy Grant still sucks. He's still ass cheeks, but Aiton is going to get started off with Embiid on the paint, and he's going to the line. And Embiid is going to pick up his quick second foul. He's going to have to go to the bench. Only a minute and a half or two and a half minutes into this game, and I am struggling. I am 0 for 3 so far from the field. DeAndre Aiton is going to notch our only four, three, three points of the game. And now they have to sub in Kelly Olynyk in for Joel Embiid, so that should be barbecue chicken for Aiton, man. That's huge for him to pick up those quick two fouls on Embiid. LaMelo Ball, kick it right back to me in the paint. That's my first bucket of the game. Oh, Jeremy Grant does something for the team. I'm going straight to the paint. I'm sorry, Aiden. I had to take this. That's a bucket with contact. That should have been a foul, but it wasn't. We're off to an 11-6 lead, and I have six straight points. LaMelo Ball has been dishing it out to Aiden. Aiden's been balling. I believe he's already got five points in this game. Yeah, the both of us have the only points in this game, and I'm going to foul there. Oh, they did a timeout, bro. We're on a fat run right now. This big three of Aiton, Cedric, and Lamelo is just too much to handle, especially Aiton. This man is killing the paint as I get subbed out. They keep Lamelo in, which makes me happy. Uh, they got Yuta the shoot in, and we are have, we are have, we have a 12 point lead you love to see it and beat is back in the game but we're matching his minutes with Aiton that's oh it hit my body a you to the shooter wide open bang probably better for Ken Rich to pass it to him than me because if I pass it to him it's a brick but you to the shooter making the most of his minutes I'm gonna need that come play in time if we can even make it and if you think about it matchup wise we match up with this Sixers team very well uh, obviously, you got me at the shooting guard going up against Tyrese Maxey. As I'm going to pull that, that's a bucket. Uh, you got me versus Maxey. We're about the same overall. Maxey might be higher, to be honest. You got Lamella versus Harden. Same overall, basically. Uh, obviously, Embiid's a million times better than Aiton. But imagine Mark Williams on Embiid. We'd probably be down by 20 instead of up by 20 right now. And we're going with size here, bringing in Nick Richards to run the four position. I'm kind of a fan, not going to lie. James Harden, though, is going to go right to him. He gets the bucket, but not the foul. I 100% thought that was going to be a foul. Good job, Nick. That, that's a good job of not fouling because we've had that issue this year of fouling everyone. They have Tobias on Aiton, bro. That's a mismatch and a half. DeAndre Aiton is having himself a day right now. Oh, my God. What a block by Aiton. This dude, Embiid, is four points, two for seven. Aiton, have yourself a day, my friend. <laughs> oh, my. He just got his takeover again. He's got 21. Dude just ended his takeover and got it right back, not even two minutes later. Oh, I'm getting subbed out. All right, bet. I'm getting subbed out here. Let me adjust myself. Let me adjust myself. And we have a 18-point lead going into halftime. Embiid. He started to ball out a little bit in that second quarter with um and beat with Aiton getting subbed out. Obviously, no one else is helping him. And look at Aiton. 23 points, 10 rebounds, two blocks in the first half. The first half, you to the shooters got seven. That helps. 16, 5, and 5 from Cedric. And Jeremy Grant doing his best impression of not being a basketball player. Oh, fast break. I'm too quick for the rest. Tomahawk slam, extending the lead. 27 yeah we're definitely gonna need a slider change at this point i'm just gonna hunt for a triple double all right they got subbed me out i was only in for my takeover they had the bench mob in the game let's see if they have them in for the rest of the game uh no but um four minutes left i'll take i don't know why the, star uh, the starters are back in because i had that conditional coaching on where they sub in the starters at a certain moment 
They subbed me out with 35 seconds left. I don't know why y'all subbed me back in. There's really no point. But we're going to have a massive victory over the 76. What is the point, dude? There's... Man, 2K, you need to fix this. Wait, why am I getting subbed in and out of a game that's over? We're up by 43. And I got subbed in and out of the fourth quarter about seven different times. That's so stupid. Well, the, the Sixers, better, they, you better hope they don't score or else I am going to score on the other end. James Harden most likely going to hold the ball for the final five seconds. So 86 to 129 victory for the Hornets. And I didn't even need to score 30 points to get the win. What a huge victory. DeAndre Ayton, career game. Final box for Embiid, struggled tonight, but did have 25 and 11. 10 for 23 from the field, 1 for 5 for downtown. Harden, 14 points, awful shooting. Maxi, 13 points, awful shooting. Harden, and I mean Harden. Embiid had no help. They just drop it up to that. He had no help. Harden and Maxi both got clamped up. And Tobias Harris over Jimmy Butler. It, it ain't going to work out for you guys. And for the Hornets, DeAndre Ayton, 45 points, 15 rebounds, two blocks on seven missed shots. That has to be a career high in points. And it is. His career high previous was only 30 five a 45 point game from deandre and showing the Suns that they made a mistake giving up on him cedric lewis a very efficient very good jimmy butler-esque game 24 points eight rebounds 14 assists eight for 12 from the field two for four from three six for six from the free throw line uh jeremy grant 14 points he had three steals and he shot 40 percent from three honestly i will take this stat line jeremy grant i am fine with that lamella ball just doing what he does best 10 points eight rebounds 10 assists three steals did have four turnovers but shot super efficient didn't need to take many shots because we had eight and drop 45 near triple double three steals playing defense you love to see rosier struggled off the bench nick richards another fantastic game off the bench seven and nine you to the shooter with seven Terrence Ross struggled and kenny hustle with six points shot efficiently that's gonna be for me what a game for me and outplaying the mvp joel Embiid. that's gonna be for me gg